Right, I'm going to uh, turn my attention to the con rod now. Um, just put a reference mark down the centre. Right, this seems to be the squarest end, so I'm going to work back from that end because this end is going to go into uh, a live centre and this end I think is going to go into a chuck um, because this centre part is round also this end that goes in for the um, gudgeon pin in the piston has got a, a slight detail on there so I'm going to have to round that top edge over in the lathe so anyway I'll work back from that end leave as much on as I can this end um, in order to be able to hold it in the chuck so coming back from this end that's actually 5 eighths so uh, 5 eighths is uh, 6.25 so back from there 6.25 is there um, and then back from that two and a half eighths is the centre back from that is five sixteenths five sixteenths is the centre and then from that centre point to this flange here is four and a half which is there I might just put a little line on there then from there we've got seven sixteenths there so it's just under half an inch isn't it so one sixteenth over uh, seven sixteenths that's three and a half sixteenths isn't it yeah, three and a half is there, and seven sixteenths is there. So, and then that goes off to a taper up this end at this point of five sixteenths. Um, two, four, five sixteenths, so that'll be two and a half sixteenths, which is there and oops two and a half sixteenths which is there and two and a half sixteenths which is there. These are these are just approximate by the way. So that's gotta go something like that. And that's gotta go something like that and then there's just a little detail there and then we've got one eighth there which I shall cut off afterwards this this will all shift down a little bit because what we've got there that's got to come that'll have a five eighths from there let's uh, see if any of these uh, calipers are any good for drawing five eighths we'll give it a try um, five eighths so that's like two and a half three sixteenths isn't it No, there's no centre point there. Anyway, point is, it's got to come round something like that to uh, to that distance and that distance. I 
I know that's a bit sort of uh, hit and miss, but it's really only for the purpose of roughing it out. So what I can do now is cut some of this out on the bandsaw and then I can get it set up to hopefully achieve the required shape. Yeah. So I'll go over to the bandsaw and I'll rough rough cut some of that out. Leaving it well oversized obviously. Right, I've got it uh, slightly roughed out now. So I need to get over to the lathe, find a way of holding this in the lathe. Um, which will probably be by this end in a four jaw and in a live center on this end. So let's get over there, see if I can get it fixed up in the lathe in a in a way that I'm able to um, turn it. Right, I've got it uh, set up in the four jaw, um, but of course it's, it's not really going to work. Um, I'm going to have to turn it between uh, centres because I've got to do a, a taper and there's no way I can do that on the, this compound because it hasn't got enough travel. I could do it in step stages, but it's going to be easier if I set it up to do this in centre. So what I'm going to do now, take it back over the lathe, over to the mill, put a, a set, find the centre of this end, put a centre hole in there. I've already got one in this end. And then I'll set it up between centres and I'll bring you back when I've done that. Of course, all of the dogs I have won't fit. Um, so what I'm going to do is just machine a little bit out of there so that that then fits in. Right, after a lot of uh, messing about I finally uh, got round to um, grind, grinding this dog out anyway. I ground this dog out so that that fits now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work the middle of this down to 7 16 which is the biggest diameter. Um, once I get sort of up near the ends I'll have to change the tool and do the ends as they come and then I'll uh, work on rounding rounding off these um, middle inserts just remember I haven't uh, Check the height of that tool. Um, yeah, it's a bit high actually, so in fact, it's quite a bit high. There we go, that's, uh, that's about right there. Starting to make a little bit of progress up this end. Um, That end is four four one, and I need four three eight, so that's fine now. So I've got to just get this end down to the same dimensions, and get this bit squared up as well. But obviously, I've got to change the uh, the tool angle for that. Something about like that, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, that ain't going 
going to work, is it? We need a different tool. We need it. All right, what I'm going to do now is uh, just clean this end up down to uh, 7 sixteenths. down to 7 sixteenths now. We've still got um, a radius to put on here um, from that 7 sixteenths point. So if I find the cutter just to give me a bit of a guide, cutter will go some radius. It's going to go something like that, somewhere there. So if I cut to here, then I can take the rest out with the radius tool. Right, I've got that end as much as I can get it um, until I uh, start um, doing the taper. I'll do the taper and I'll leave the, um, the little round indent in there until the last um, operation. I'm going to come back up this end now and do this end, but I won't record that because it's just the same as that end. Right, I'm going to round that over with the uh, ball turning uh, tool, see how that goes. Right, I'll blend the rest of that with a file I think, um, it's difficult to get in this end so I'll just fiddle about with that with a file. Right, that's that end uh, more or less finished and uh, cleaned up and blended now. So I've just got to do this bottom piece, um, get that uh, all cleaned up and sorted out now. And then um, all that'll leave me is to do the taper. Well, I need to do this before I do the taper, otherwise it'll be uh, all off centre. In fact, I'm not actually going to do anything to this end. I'm just going to blend it, I think, um, and then I'll I'll cut it off and finish it up in the mill. Right, let's get this uh, blended in now.
Right, we got this end nicely blended now. So I can swap out this center and put in the offset center and then I can dial in the taper. Right, so we go at cutting the taper. Right, that looks pretty good. I think that's the lathe work done. I can take it out now, get this hole drilled in there, um, get this cut off and get a couple of holes drilled in there to fix it to the uh, big end bearing, which I haven't made yet, but I will. Right, okay, good. That's all folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. I would also appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button because that will uh, enable me to grow the channel so that I can keep making these videos. Please leave a comment or a question. I do read all of the comments and reply to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.